Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to show you how to create a .NET console application using Visual Studio Code and I'm going to follow the tutorial that you have from the Microsoft official documentation and I'll provide this link in my video okay so real quick prerequisite you need the Visual Studio Code and the C Sharp extension install and uh, it's really easy you can use the snap install to install the code it's snap install code and uh, .NET code installation you can either get it uh, using snap or from Visual Studio Code you can use the C Sharp extension so what I'm gonna do here uh, to create a simple hello world application uh, I'm just gonna go in here and there are multiple ways to do it I'm just gonna open uh, go to the terminal and I have already installed the code and I'm just gonna do code dot and it should bring up the code for me so here's my code and uh, what I'll do let's come back over here select file open folder from the menu in the open folder uh, create hello world folder and select folder so here what we'll do file uh, open folder and here we're gonna create a hello world folder actually let's go to documents okay then C sharp under here or maybe just stay under documents and do uh, hello world folder let me make sure that I'm using the same um, naming convention so let's use the exact naming convention just as the tutorial hello world create and then this is automatically selected so I can select OK and over here this uh, file description is now pointing back to the hello world okay it's giving me a, a like a blank template the folder name becomes a project name and the namespace name by default this is my namespace plus the folder name as I said over here okay now we can add code uh, later in this tutorial this assumes the project namespace hello world so now we can go to the terminal and to go to the terminal what do you go you can go to view and there is terminal okay there is one way to go there you can view the terminal or you can just go here and go to the terminal from here as well so let's stick to this so we did view and the terminal and it opened up the terminal for me within this visual studio code so i don't have to use the terminal outside this code environment so i can get rid of this for now all right so next what we need to do for the console application all you need to do is type this command so like in here look you are right right now inside this hello world uh, folder so if i do a ls there is nothing in there so to create the application i'll write dot net new console and hit enter and it's going to do some stuff for me and it's going to create a, a, a sample program file it's going to create and and if you see it's got the hello world dot cs proj file and that's program dot cs so this is the main file where you're going to write the write your code and if you look at look at it uh, it says namespace hello world class program and it's got the static void main string args console dot write line hello world so everything that I need is now available in here and again if you do a ls on it now you have the CS pro the pro program dot CS file and there is another object folder that's got created uh, so as we said uh, this is the template that we are seeing and now the last thing you want to do is run the application and we'll try to run the application i just installed it uh, and let's see if we can run the program and to run this code all you need to do is to say dot uh, net run and if your dot net is working properly you should see the output and as you see it said hello world and that is what it's, this program is supposed to do console the right line should print hello world for you okay so there we go so you have uh, a, a very simple way to use the visual studio code which i absolutely love to create an application very very quickly and easily and be able to start developing your code uh, they have 
some more additional things that they are doing here enhance the application to prompt the user for their name and display it along with the date and time so if you want to do some additional stuff uh, you can also do uh, here open program since we're clicking the first time OmniShop loads the editor so if you want to do st stuff like that you can go ahead and uh, uh, add some additional code so let's copy this one uh, this uh, replace the contents of the main program with this particular code and if you look at the code it should print and ask for what is your name and then uh, from the command line is gonna store a variable okay and and that will take your input it will get the date of the system date time now and store in a variable called date and then uh, it's gonna print console the right line your name your date and time and you can press any key to exit and uh, console the read key true and it will exit the program so let's try that one as well so in here what we'll do we'll comment this code and we'll put the remaining part of the code as we have in the tutorial so we'll have a little bit more complicated code than than before I save the code and to run the application again I'm gonna do dot net run and if I hit enter uh, what is your name so say Basu and it's now telling me hello Basu on 1 11 2021 at 1 17 a.m. and you press any code to exit I'm just gonna hit enter and I'm out of the command line or out of the out of the program so that's about it and again uh, we have already run the code so we are good to go all right hope this uh, quick video is useful to you I'm gonna give you the link of this quick tutorial that I have done if you have trouble installing Visual Studio Code, look at the previous video I have done. Uh, if not, just have fun writing code with C Sharp and .NET Core. Thank you for watching.